Say the situation is this, that you have forgotten your password and you have forgotten your pin. Now, when you log into your Windows screen, you, sh you, you have these two options. You have sign in with a pin or sign in with a password. Now, mind you that my Windows is connected to my Hotmail account. Now, the funny thing in Windows 10 is that you can even crack this open, but it won't crack your Windows Hotmail account, but you can still log into the computer and you can go into your files and you can check them out. So the situation is that uh, you have a Hotmail account or you have got local administrator and your computer is locked. How would you basically get into it? So guys, before I start this video, I would, I would suggest you to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I've made another video tutorial, which is on Mac, right? But this uh, tutorial is specifically for the Windows 10 computer. Now, um, this is the situation. So let's get into the video and let's check it out that how can we unlock a computer in this situation? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is at the moment, I'm going to input my pin say for example this computer is uh, the other computer is locked and this is your other computer where you have to get the software and you have to do all the stuff and then put it onto the computer which is locked okay consider that as computer b what you need to do with this computer b is that you need to go onto a website but it needs to be a windows computer right so this website is called lazy soft i'll put a link in the description so just Google LazySoft, go into downloads and over here you've got two versions. You've got the professional edition and you've got the home edition. All you need is the home edition, which is free. Click download, I've already downloaded it, right? After it's downloaded, you just need to install the software. That is the software over here, right? Which I've already installed. And this LazySoft uh, suite is, is the home edition. Right, so what you need to do is on this computer B, you need to run this uh, piece of software. Now, what would happen is that, again, remember, computer B has also got Windows 10, not Windows 7. You need a USB stick. So just take uh, any USB drive. Say, for example, I've got this, this USB. And what you need to do is you need to uh, stick this into the computer B. And then uh, on the software, what you need to do is you need to go into burn CD USB a launch bootable. Okay, so over here, it'll give you an option saying, please select the Windows version of the target computer. So the Windows version of the target computer is 10, 64 bit. Uh, most likely it's gonna be Windows 10 64 bit, but this is a tutorial for Windows 10 computer A, which is locked and computer B, which is not locked, where you're gonna, in, where you're gonna prepare the software to use in computer A, right? So you get this uh, Windows 10, you hit next and it will uh, basically, it will prepare a USB stick. I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it, right? Uh, it's very simple. Then what you need to do is then you need to restart your computer which is locked now what you need to do is take that usb stick and stick it into the computer which is locked so here we are guys we are at the computer which is locked at the moment and i have prepared the usb stick from computer b and i've just inserted it into my computer a which is locked now the first thing is that you need to get into the bios so to get into the bios it's either f10 or f9 usually it's f10 so i'm going to hit i'm going to restart the computer because windows 10 has a security we need to disable the security so we go into restart and we hit restart anyway and then what you need to do is on the keyboard you need to hit f10 so the computer is restarting and I am constantly hitting F10. Now this should take me into the BIOS, right? So here we are in the BIOS screen. Now what you need to do is you need to go into the security options and under security options, you've got um, a line called secure boot configuration. Hit secure boot configuration, hit F10. It might be slightly different, but all you need to do is you need to find secure boot and you need to disable it. In my case, it has already been disabled. You need to disable it. F10, don't forget to press F10, accept it. And then you need to basically uh, apply um, save changes and exit. And then once when you restart, uh, yes, you have to press 
F9 so that it can go into the booting stage where it will give you uh, the different booting devices. So I'm hitting F9 now just to see what booting options do I have. So I've got these uh, boot options. So the thing is that I have um, these boot options. So that's the UEFI boot option. You're not going to choose that. You have to go into the legacy boot sources. Uh, you have the hard disk, you have the WDC, blah, 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 and then you have the sand disk. So mine is, my USB stick is the sand disk. So I'm going to tell it to boot it from here. I'm going to point it here and I'm going to hit enter. So what it'll do is, is basically it'll start loading that piece of software which we prepared from LazySoft from computer um, uh, B, right? And this is the lock computer. So you've got two options over here, lazy soft live CD EMS enabled, or it says Windows memory diagnostics. What you need to do is you need to hit the lazy soft live CD EMS and click enter. It'll give you this option. It'll say loading files. And after a few like seconds, it'll just load up the interface, the interface which you saw previously. So that's gonna load up. As you can see, we have the LazySoft Recovery Suite Home screen over here. Over here, you've got all these options, but most of these options are for the professional version because we've downloaded the free home version. So the only option we have is the password recovery because this tutorial is for the password recovery. And we hit password recovery, we say Windows reset, password and then we click next don't do you don't need to click load drivers just click next and it says uh the free laser is licensed for non-commercial use only for commercial use please blah 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 and you can just say yes and then it'll say reset local password and then click next now this is a very interesting screen which i want you guys to be you know understand carefully so forget about all these accounts but these are the these are some of the accounts which windows generates but we can't see them uh, I have this, this is my uh, uh, my account which is connected to the Hotmail account. So uh, the password is not on the computer, it's in Hotmail. So I can't unlock this one. Yes, if I have the professional version of LazySoft, I can still unlock this one directly, but because I have the home version, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click administrator and, and I'm going to click next and well, I've already done it. That's why it's saying yes as blank password, but I'm going to click next. And here I have two options, reset, unlock or change. And then I can just, uh, what do you say? I can reset it. It'll say resetting Windows password. You reset Your password has been reset successfully. I'm going to finish this and I'm going to hit reboot. So as soon as I'll hit reboot, it'll basically take me onto the login screen. So guys, here we are at the login screen. Say for example, you did have the uh, like the Windows password, like my my computer. If you didn't, you can just simply it'll just log you in. If you did, then you would have these options pop up. You'll have the administrator option pop up. So what it's done is it's made my my account, which is my main account, as a user as a standard user and then it's made another administrator so i'll just hit administrator and show you guys that through the administrator account i can still log in into my account which is my all my files are there and i can still access them just to show you for example's sake um so this is my pc and if i click c drive so this is the administrator account which i'm in at the moment right so if i click users and over here i've got moment and i've got all my stuff over here my my documents well i didn't have anything in my documents but yes i had stuff on the onedrive you see i can still access my stuff on the onedrive and I've got stuff on the Dropbox so I can still access it, which was actually on the local computer. So guys, this concludes my video for how to unlock your Windows 10. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments section below. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful and just give that thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, so let me know if you want to, uh, you want me to make another video of something else which you're struggling with. And guys, um, thanks once again and catch you in my next video. Bye for now.